Welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll be working on Becker Practical Questions, year 2022. And the first thing to do is to read our instruction. We have the first instruction here to use a computer system to answer all questions. You are required to print out hard copies. No content of the candidate work should be the same. Then the software to be used is specified, is indicated here. So we are using Corel Draw to perform the tasks below. So we know the software we are to use. Without further ado, let's dig in. Now I have Corel Draw already open on my system here. You need to have a Corel Draw on the system. All you need to do is to search for it, Corel Draw, whatever year you are using. So the next thing is to create a new document. You can click on File, New. If you want to get more ideas on this, you can check my YouTube channel for more. Make sure your primary color is CMYK. You are working with because we are printing this out, so we work with CMYK. And our paper size should be A4. The size of the page should be A4. We are working with A4. Now, you might not see, it might not display this way on your um, system, but all you need to do is to select A4 and you don't need any other thing. Just make sure you set the paper size to be A4 and we are good to go. And also on color mode, CMYK. So we click on OK and we have the interface. To learn more about this, check my YouTube channel. So we have this. The first thing to do whenever we have the question is to read the instruction. The second thing is to replicate the same design. If you remember in the other tutorials, what you are meant to do is to replicate the same design before the application. So we need to create this diagram that we have here. And how can we do that is in Corel Draw. So let's start. Now the first thing I'm going to do is to click on the rectangle tool. The rectangle tool, like I said, for more knowledge about this, check the YouTube channel. So we click and we drag. So I have this, I can just create any size for now. We are still going to edit the size. So don't forget this is A4 paper and we are going to print on A4 paper. So make sure you maximize the way you use your space. Don't draw small re rectangle. You can see what we have is a rectangle, not square. So we should follow the same, the same rules. So I can increase the size of it to the edges. Now the first thing I have there is to type. I have the A, which represents the text too. I can type. So let's type. I have all caps, George. You can type everything on a page using, just press enter to go to the next line, just like the Microsoft Word. So I'm going to align this and make sure I align center. What is the shortcut to align center? Control E and it should be align center. You also know there are ways to get this, but let's use the shortcut Control E, align center, Control L for left, for right, Control R. So we are using Control E and let's select our font size. Our font size should be Times New Roma. If you remember from one of the video we did, I said the default font size is Times New Roma and that is what they use here. So I'm going to just take them up by clicking on the pick tool and click and drag to put it somewhere. If I look at it, it's not um, the same size. So let's reduce this to maybe size 18 or 16. Yes, yeah, size 18 or 16. I can still touch this. So that part is done. Um, let me make it 24. I can still. Then I need to draw another rectangle for the logo yeah, and then type, oh, I can still pick my text tool and click and type logo. Make sure you are light before applying it and the logo can be placed in the right spot. So. Let's put it at the right spot. Yes, I have that. The other thing I have there is the motto, the slogan, M-O-T-T-O. -T 
press enter to the next line 080 type with the caps lock on 3322 then our, our light and change the font size to be times zero roma don't forget and if you look at it the managing director is italized so let's get that italized control i or you click on the icon the judge is um, bold the name is bold so i make sure it's bolded here so i will put this here i think it's too big let's reduce the size to 18 and place it now the last thing to do is to add these lines here and also if you look at the thickness of the line it's kind of different from us so we can increase the airline the airline let's make it three or let's see eight eight is too much let's see four so we can maintain four also touch the airline for this increase it to four or three since it's inside so we are good to go now let's draw the next line now we are going to use the free and two free and two how does it work we click where we want to start from just click and move the mouse click and leave the left click where you want to stop you click again and that's how it works let's delete this i click move the mouse to get to where i want to stop i click again and i have a line so the same thing you are going to do so i can start from this place or i can do this i have three there so click then stop let's increase the airline of this to um four four also or we can even make it five or six then let's duplicate since we have done this ctrl c ctrl v now it will be two so i can move the other one and I can reduce it or you can draw yourself we go back there to draw it if you are not getting this okay all right let's let's draw it ourselves so I need one more I click I increase the size to five I think I use five in the other one five then I'll do for the other one again same thing I increase it to 5.0 and I'm good to go so if you want to make any adjustments, you can still make adjustments, reduce, add more or strengthen it up if it's not looking well. So we just finished replicating the design. Now let's go to the application part.